In today's session, we will learn to download, install and use a remote access software AnyDesk. We have two common features, uh, two common softwares for remote accessing any computer system. One is uh, AnyDesk and the second is Team Viewer. So in today's session, we will learn how to download, install and use AnyDesk for remote accessing and controlling a system on remote. For that, let's go to the Google first and download the AnyDesk software. So we'll go to the uh, AnyDesk download and make sure that you download it from the official website only. So let's go to the AnyDesk.com, your remote desktop software for Windows. From here, we can choose the uh, operating system so here we can choose either windows uh, we have mac or for android for ios for linux so uh, my system is a window system so i'll select window operating system and i'll click on download now to download this any desk into my pc so you can see here the uh, any desk is uh, downloaded and now i'll execute this exe file let me tell you you have to perform these steps on both the computers the host computer from where you want to control your remote system and uh, the same any desk is to be downloaded and installed onto your remote computer system so now let me open this exe file and you can see a uh, we can use any desk in both the ways, either without installing it or we can also install any desk onto the device. I would prefer to install on the device uh, so that I can have a better experience. So I'll uh, choose this option, install any desk. So I'll click here, install any desk. Uh, you can see the path. It's the installation path. See program files in any desk. Uh, I would like to create a start shortcut, start menu shortcut, desktop icon and uh, any desk printer as well. So now let me accept uh, the conditions and install any desk into the PC. So once uh, I have accepted and clicked on install, now let me show you that any desk is installed in the PC. So I'll click, you can see this is any desk is already installed. Now I'll open it from here and remember these steps are to be performed on both the PCs, the host PC from where we want to control any other PC, control the remote PC and the similar thing is to be performed onto the remote PC as well. I'm already having two PCs and this is my host PC. I have installed it on this and I have already installed any desk on my remote PC. So uh, I have already opened any desk on my remote PC and now I am going to open this any desk on this host PC and I'll show you how to connect and uh, how to browse. So you can see there are a uh, few options in this any desk. Let's see what are these main options. Uh, if discovery is open, you will be able to see if there is any uh, computer system already in the local area network installed with any desk so you will be able to see the list of the computers so you can directly connect from here or if you want to connect using the address then you have to enter the address of your remote computer here in this address bar and if you want to share your address so that some other computer can access your system then this is your address you just need to share this address to the remote pc and uh, that PC will enter this address here in the address bar. So uh, I already have the remote PC and uh, I have the address of the remote PC. So let me uh, write the address. Uh, the address can be shared in any ways. You can text or you can email. So I have this address 432298665. So this is the user. So I just need to have this address from the user and uh, I will be able to connect. You can see as this is in my local area network, it's already visible here, 432-298-665. But in most of the cases, we do not have 
the controlled PC in the local area network. So we need to have this address. We will ask this address from the user and then we will uh, connect. So once I'll click, the request will be sent to the uh, remote user and where the user will have to accept the request. So I am accepting the request from my remote PC. And once your remote PC is accepted the request, now you can see uh, this is connected. So now you can see uh, the PC is connected. Uh, okay, so you can see this is the start button of the remote PC. It's not my PC, it's the remote PC where you can see I can uh, minimize this window. This is the computer, uh, this computer of the remote PC and uh, this is the browser on the remote PC. So this is the remote PC I am using. Right, now let me show you. Uh, this is actually host PC from where I am accessing this remote PC. And you can see I can uh, perform all the operations on this remote PC. I can access any uh, file. I can access any program. I can go to the my computer section. I can open any file. So this is how we can perform the uh, screen sharing. Now let's just have a look on the options here above. Uh, you can see here we have browse files. So this browse file can be used to transfer files either from the host to the remote or from the remote to the host. So let us say if uh, this is this device. So this is on the left hand side is showing my own device, the host device. And on the right hand side, it's showing the remote device. So let's say if I want to transfer one file, uh, this file from my system to the remote system. So I just need to click. I need to select the file and just I need to collect connect the upload. So once I'll click upload, you can see the file is transferred to the remote system. And let's say if I want to uh, download some file from the remote system to our system, then we need to go to the remote system. We need to select the file and we need to click download from here. So once I'll click download, it will be downloaded into our system. So let me show you the file so you can see. This is the file which we had just downloaded from the remote system. So this way uh, we can transfer files, we can browse files, we can view all the files. And uh, this is the screen view using which we can access uh, the remote uh, computer system. We can do anything uh, into the remote system. And then this is the uh, view option where you can choose a different view, the original view. You can have a full screen view. You can have a stretch view, shrink view. So currently I'm using a shrink, uh, shrink view. You can also have a stretch and original view. Uh, and then we have this chat section where you can chat to the remote operating system. So let me show you if I write hello from my PC to the remote PC and I'll click on send then the remote PC you can see here in the remote PC uh, you can see this hello message is transferred from uh, my PC to the remote PC. Let me open the chat box again and this is the chat box of my host PC. So this is my host and I'll click on send here and you can see this is my host is received on to the remote PC. Even remote PC can also send the messages and I'll receive here on the host PC. So this is the chat section. Uh, and then we can also perform other actions. For example, we can take a screenshot. We can restart the remote device as well. We can also uh, have the session recording. So you can see this option here uh, will record the session. So we can also record the session. We can also use the whiteboard. We can represent the right board so that uh, the user remote user can uh, see the whiteboard as well. And if uh, we want to set a password, we can also set a password from this option. And uh, okay, so once we are done everything, we can click on exit from here and uh, this connection will be closed. So this is how we can access any desk. In the next session, I, I would like to show you how we can download, install and use Team Viewer for remote accessing and controlling.